Hey, hey, y'all. This is A. Renee from Journal Jot and Jive. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, welcome to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, hey, y'all. Uh, you know, it's Friday. Happy Friday to all of those that are happy that it's Friday. To my weekend work warriors and my weekend crew, hey, y'all, hey. It's time for us to get started for the weekend. All right, y'all, so in today's video, by the title, it should say five things I love to use while journaling or five things. Yeah, it's going to be what it's going to be in the title. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. But it's going to be five things about journaling, something. Child. Yeah, so you know how some people be like, here's my social media planner and I'm planning every single detail. Honey, I know what I be wanting to do. I write it down, but the titles don't be there yet, okay? So with that being said, the title gonna be the title. All right, y'all. Hey, y'all. Okay, so I wanted to talk about five things that I will typically always use for the most part when journaling. And honestly, they're not all journal items, okay? So what I like to use during my journaling experience, um, when I'm writing, if I'm in my room, if I'm down at the desk, whatever it may be, there's going to be a couple of things that I typically like to have when journaling. So one of the first things that I love to have while journaling is going to be a candle, believe it or not. It has nothing to do with the paper, but has everything to do with my zen. I like to calm down. Um, if it's in the morning, sometimes I like citrusy smells. If it's a little later, something like lavender, something relaxing but a candle is gonna be one of the first things. So let's talk about the candle of the day. All right, so every Friday, in my mind, I'm supposed to be <laughs> pushing a company, a new company, companies that I've tried that I like, and yeah, I ain't did that in the past uh, two Fridays. So let's go ahead and get into that first today. So today's shop is 1216 Candles. I love the smell of her candles. It just permeates the room. It smells good. This one is called Stay Humble. All right, so I am going to put the link to her site in the description or her Instagram page, one of those. But this is our candle, all right? So this is what we are going to inhale on this here day. So let's go ahead and get this lit. All right, so now that we have that done, the second thing that I typically like to have during my journaling experience is gonna be a beverage, all right? It's gonna either be some coffee, um, my mom would call this cream and coffee, cause child, I don't really drink super, super dark coffee. Um, but either that tea or some water, just a beverage. I, I like to, you know, sip on something um you know sometimes it may be a little bit of an adult beverage if i want one not that often but it may but nonetheless i'm always going to have something to drink while i am journaling all right next is going to be obviously our journal all right so let's talk about the journal y'all so i can journal on a napkin a note card and I can get whatever thoughts out right so I'm not one of those that's like this is the only journal that I can journal in but I want to talk about this stay with me you're gonna hear a lot of you all and I'm talking to you and some of your people around you that's like I'm a paper snob I'm a paper snob. I got to have the best paper okay I also am a paper snob when necessary but I want to encourage you all who are getting into journaling to stop s-t-o-p l-i-g let it go all right because this whole notion of i am a paper snob what's happening is you're a paper snob but you're not writing on the paper all right you're not getting your thoughts down um and you're just like oh i really want to get into journaling i just love what you do adrian oh my gosh i wish i had your handwriting we're gonna go we're gonna go through this quite often on this channel you're not going to have my handwriting. I'm not going to have your handwriting, but we need to get our handwriting on paper. And if you're to the point that you're a paper snob so much so that you don't write, then we need you to unsnob. Okay. So this particular journal that I have that I'm writing in for the first quarter is a stylogy. All paper is not going to be created equally. Okay. So I, again, can write on any paper. My overall goal is to get my thoughts out. 
and that's what we need to do so this is what we did yesterday so this is more of a crinkly paper for a lot of people it's going to be a little too thin it goes you can see through the other side i like it more for i love the crunch of the paper it's like a sound that is really it's just like an ASMR for me. So I love that feel. I love it being, I, I love feeling the ridge of the pen. It just, it's just, it's just, I love it, okay? But it's not gonna be for everybody. All right, so this is the journal that I'm using now. But I flip through super thick paper to thin paper to, girl, it could be a, or lady. I need to stop calling y'all, girl, forgive me. It's a Georgia thing. It, I ain't trying to disrespect you. But I can use anything. It can be a journal from... Marshalls my goal is to get you all in a space where you are writing your thoughts out on paper and you're not just like Oh my gosh, I don't want to use it. It's just so beautiful. Oh lord. What am I gonna do? You don't write and get your thoughts out because half of y'all are getting your thoughts out to social media You're getting your thoughts out to your friend, but you won't even talk to yourself. Okay, right on the paper right on the paper All right, so again, I love this. It's cool. So that's gonna bring me to my next point So I set this page up yesterday and if you follow me on Instagram, I gave y'all a couple of tips about this and why and how you can incorporate creativity into your journal. But the next thing is going to be a pen. I love pens. I'm going to have a pen, all right? Obviously, we need to write. Some people can write in a journal. I mean a journal. Some people can write with a pencil. Some people can write with a pen. This is a gel pen from Scribbles by KP. I'm going to be real honest with y'all. I mean, I love this pen. That's number one. But I can write with any kind of pen, ballpoint, gel, marker. The only one that's real funny for me is like the rollerball. I don't know if it's the way I write my pressure point. I skip with rollerball, so I don't use those a lot. But I'm going to have a pen. I'm going to grab whatever I need to get my thoughts out, okay? So, again, some of y'all are going to be like, but I'm a pen snob. Just use the pen, okay? Stop putting labels on yourself and you ain't doing nothing with it. All right, next, I'm going to group these together. But I will typically always, 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 always have a highlighter. These are what you see, my outliner highlighter, and then a brush tip marker, okay? And so I like it because if I don't have a sticker, and I know some of y'all like, you ain't even said nothing about a sticker, I did not. Because if I don't have a sticker, I can do a lot with this. I can doodle, I can create shapes. I could just do a lot. So if this is all I have access to, I'm going to want a pen. I'm going to want a mild liner and a dual brush marker. It doesn't matter who the company is, but these are going to be three writing utensils that I have. All right. And lastly, we're going to do a bonus. So the bonus one is going to be the distressed ink. Because wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. That made five. So yeah, let's go on and do a little bonus. The bonus is the distressed ink. This ain't gonna be everybody think, <laughs> all right? But I absolutely love distressed ink. So let's just say I don't wanna use a sticker or anything, but I want some kind of pop to my page. This gives me the little bit of life that I need on my page, all right? So y'all, those are my favorite things that I use. They make me happy. It gets me open in my journal often. So if you're getting started, Find those five things that are your non-negotiables that you need for your journaling experience. In the comment section below, let me know what do you use during your journal time? Where do you journal? And how is your journal journey going, all right? So I'm gonna take y'all out with setting up a page, but with that being said, y'all know I ain't gonna talk through that part. So let's go ahead and get into it. And before we get into it, if you've made it this far and you're like, girl, I like, Yo vibe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and that like button so every time I post, you are in the know. All right, let's go ahead and get into this page. 